So the first thing I'm gonna do is address this oil filter. So I got a replacement here from Sparex and I got my freshly painted cover on there. So we're just gonna quickly install that. And there we have it, one installed oil filter. So this oil filter, <clears throat> as you guys know, is a canister style oil filter. And the 1394 would have originally had a spin on filter, which would be a lot nicer. But unfortunately, with the 995 engine, this is what they had, so we had to switch back. In the future, I'd like to put a relocation kit on this to move that filter out here, somewhere around this general area, underneath the cab, and preferably standing upright. But for now, this will do. My next move was going to be to install this power steering pump onto the engine, which goes right here. But I'm having trouble finding the gasket for it. I'm not sure if it's missing or what. Well, I've given up. I can't find the gasket for that. Uh, what I did find was this one, which I believe is the gasket for the cover that goes over this hole if the tractor has manual steering. So anyway, I tried to make it work, but the hole is too big in the center and I'm just worried it's not gonna seal. So uh, another boo-boo I made too is I should have taped off that there where it's got a seal against, but whatever. I took the wire brush and I cleaned up around the outside of that hole. And this here is already clean anyway, but I just cleaned up a little bit better. And I'm just gonna use some 515 on it. I'm hoping, I don't think that'll make any difference, a little tiny bit as far as like back and forth that there isn't, this here gear isn't supported in the cover at all or anything like that, so it should be all right. So just gonna throw the 515 on it and bolt it together. So yesterday evening I put this pump on and I think we're just gonna continue working on this side. Uh, the tack cable will, bolt, will uh, attach on there later on, but I do have to put the fuel pump right here so we can put that on next, I think. Uh, don't know if I got it painted or not, but we'll have a look at it. And uh, there's an oil line that's got to go from here to there, so we can put that on as well. I believe I have it painted. And the alternator is going to go on there too. Um, I never painted the alternator or nothing. I don't know if it works yet or not, so I didn't want to waste my time painting it. So we'll put the alternator bracket on and uh, whatnot and get ready to put the alternator on anyway. Hey guys, welcome back to the 1394 project. Uh, I'm going to give you a little rundown of what we got done off camera since the last video. And then we're going to work on putting the uh, front cover on the engine and the hydraulic pump on, uh, on the front here. So let's start with the... Uh, rundown of what we did so far. All right, so truth be told, I can't really remember what we did since the last video, <laughs> but we do have the intake manifold on. I think that was on when I painted it. Yes, it was. Uh, we put this here bracket on and the thermo start on. And as we put this here uh, breather on as well. Um, and this canister, uh, I believe that is an extra reservoir for the uh, power steering pump and it's hard to see I know because of the glare let me see if we can change something here that's not too bad I guess so yeah now we come around this side of the engine here as you can probably tell the injection pump has been installed uh, this fuel line here uh, feeding the injection pump has been installed this one here is also installed. We got a little bit of touch-up paint to do on that by the looks of it. Uh, so all that is done. And I mean, there's just lots of dust and stuff here. We'll have to wash this thing, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'm just finishing up the lines here that go from the pump up to the injectors. I just painted those a little while ago. So we gotta wait for them to dry. And I also installed this too. I'm not sure if that made it in or not. Uh, this here goes right here. We just don't have that on right this second. I can't remember why. Oh yeah, that gets in the way of the, this here gets in the way of the exhaust manifold. That's why that's not connected right there or whatever. So that's what we got going on right now. All right, I got the uh, injection pump in. Everything's done here. I think we're basically just ready to stick the front cover on. So 
I'm gonna get the gasket. I just gotta clean up the surface a little bit. Put the gasket on and uh, put the front cover on. I just installed the seal on the front cover, so everything is good to go, I think. couple bolts in just to make sure everything's lined up. <laughs> well, I already got a few of these in. Let's start tightening them down, I guess. Supposed to go right through. Morning, guys. It's the next day. Uh, we're gonna move this thing up to my other shop now. Uh, so we'll finish the rest of that front cover stuff later. But right now, we're gonna do the moving bit. So as you can see, it's quite easy to move with the stands on the back. We're going to lift the back of it up with the case, uh, the 885. Dad's bringing it down right now. We'll lift those stands up a little bit, and we'll just drag it up to the other shop. tractor up there it wasn't very pretty but we managed to get it up there I'm, I thought about before I thought about making like a little hitch thing to bolt onto the back of that um, 
the back of the front half of the tractor, I guess, and then you just put a tow bar on it. And I even thought about putting a quick couple of quick couplers on the uh, hoses for the steering cylinder, but I just, I never got around to it. But anyway, it's done now, so it's up there for good. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff in here I gotta haul up there uh, to put on the tractor and the engine and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, so. I guess the next clip in this video will be coming to you from back in the other shop. All right, the tractor's up here in the other shop now, and uh, we're just gonna keep moving forward with this cover. I've got the bolts all done all the way through there. I just did a little bit of paint touch up on the bolts. Uh, but we're gonna put this here cover on right now. So I got the gasket for it here and the bolts. Uh, these bolts I actually painted beforehand, which was smart of me. I don't always remember to do that. So yeah, we're going to put this gasket on like so in that cover. And uh, I don't think I'm going to have to be in there again, but uh, just in case, just in case we're not going to bother putting the sealant on this, on this, uh, gasket the gasket will seal fine without it I'm sure there we got two bolts started anyway There, now we tighten those down. All right, we got that cover on now, and this here cover. So I think we're ready to put this pulley on. So I got my felt washer in there. There's already a new seal installed. I got some grease around this here. So I guess here goes nothing. Install the washer and the nut. I guess there's no lock on that nut, so maybe we should put a little dab of Loctite on it just in case. All right, I got the nut on there. Uh, I'm just gonna get the uh, socket and an impact and hammer that down, and then we'll have to torque it to spec. I'll have to look up what it is. So I'll meet you back here when that's done. All right, I just wanted to interject here for a second. I just pulled this nut back off, I didn't tighten it yet. And I had to flip that washer around. There's a chamfer on the inside of it, uh, on one side of it that has to face the engine according to the service book there. So I just made sure that was all right. Uh, I had to fix it, but. Anyway, so now we're just gonna tighten that down. It's uh, 140 foot pounds. So I'm probably gonna have to have something uh, Something or someone to help me to brace the flywheel so the engine doesn't turn and then crank her down, but yeah, I'll give her a go. All right, next we're gonna start working on installing the uh, hydraulic pump, but I got the belt here, and this is the belt that uh, comes off the crank up to the water pump and to the alternator. Uh, there's, the, uh, there's the part number somewhere there. Right, right up here. That's your part number. And that's for tractors that have the air conditioning option, which this one does. So I just want to make sure this is on here before I get the hydraulic pump on. There you go. Because you can't put it on afterwards, I have to get the coupler off it and whatnot. So, 
Uh, yeah, that's that one on there. I got another belt to run. I think it's from here to the to here at the uh, air conditioning compressor, but it seems like a long belt. But uh, anyway, we'll get her figured out here. And I'll show you the coupling here for the hydraulic pump. All right, so I got the uh, pump here, as you can see. I don't know if it's going to be in focus or not. but Anyway, that sits here in this cradle, like so. And you can see I got a brand new gear installed on the end of it. Uh, we also got the other coupling here that goes over this gear. And I'll show you the... Oh yeah, we got this here too. This is the rubber flexible part of it that's brand new also. But I'll show you, uh, this is the same as this part. I got the, this is a aftermarket, I believe. I got it from Berkeley Williams. But you can see, well, this one's a little bit, this one's a little bit hard to see, but the splines are all wore inside. You can tell for sure on the gear, if you look at that gear, Hopefully it'll focus, maybe. So yeah, you can definitely see all the wear on uh, the splines there. So the coupling was wore pretty good. Like there's a lot of movement in it and we don't want that, that's no good. So, like I said, I got uh, new parts from Berkeley Williams and the rubber coupling that was on it just disintegrated you can see a piece of it still left on there so that's all that's left of that so we got a brand new flexible joint and uh, both ends of the coupling here so this here I believe I'm, I, I'm gonna have to double check here but I think it bolts on through there and then these here bolt on through here kind of like offset like that I'm just gonna double check because it's been a little while since I had it apart and uh, we'll get ready to put that uh, put that back on um, when I took this pump off before I had a heck of a job doing it because uh, I couldn't get I don't know what the reason was I remember it was difficult I guess I can't remember exactly what the problem was. Oh, I know what it was. This here was jammed in here. I couldn't get it in. So I had to work on everything kind of in place. So I think what I'm gonna do this time is, uh, is I'm gonna, it goes like this, I guess. I'm gonna install this on the pump on the bench first, and then we'll be able to just drop that in, I think, so. We'll see how that goes, I guess. All right, I'm kind of figuring this out as I go myself here, but anyway, let's see. So I got the bolts. And I'm trying to find a good spot. I just put them in my pocket. So. There's a coupling. So now I think, and oh geez, I gotta double check again. So it should go into this part like that. Right. Yes. And then I think I can tighten these down, or at least I am anyway. So there's three bolts that go in this way, and then 
Well, maybe I shouldn't have did that yet. Yep, shouldn't have did that yet. Shouldn't have did that yet. All right. Let me just take these out and back off a bit. put those bolts uh, from the inside out just stuck in there first and then we can bolt this down so I'll come back to you when I get that bolted down Installed. You can see I got the ports and everything taped off on it. I just didn't want any debris or anything getting in there. But we got uh, lines that kind of come up through here and through here and into this here. So I, I don't have those painted yet. We'll have to work on those uh, later on. But uh, I am working on the alternator right now. You can see too I got to chuck up the paint there because I missed some. You think I would have did a better job painting it when it was off the tractor, but whatever. Um, so yeah, we're going to fit the alternator on there, alternator. Um, I just got to clean it up. I'm not going to bother painting it or anything like that. Um, if it works, then fine. But I'm suspecting I'm probably going to have to replace it anyway, so I'm not going to put too much effort into it. Just going to get it fitted on there and everything. And uh, and the belt will be tight. So then that'll be uh, pretty well it for the front part here, other than those lines. And uh, yeah, so... Anyway, moving on, I guess. 